On this episode of Vice Grip Garage, it's your lucky day, feller. I'm gonna take you on a private tour of Zweifel Motors here in Piedmont, South Dakota. And it's, I mean, it's, it's good. It's real good. There's a couple hundred cars back here. They're all classics, hot rods, you name it. And of course the parts and memorabilia and signs, all that's in there as well. It's basically a honey pot for us car guys. So sit down, grab a cold snack, I'm gonna walk you through this place. Let's have some fun. I absolutely love this place. I still get butterflies every time I come here. And I've been coming here many, many, many years, especially if you're a Buick fan. Oh gosh golly, he likes a lot of Buicks just like me. There's so much to look at and see and do here. Make sure you put it on your list if you're in ever in Western South Dakota. There's something you don't know about a guy is I for once was the lucky guy and I got to work here all through high school. Uh, even helped build that chop right there from the concrete all the way to the tin. And I can't even begin to tell you how much I learned and the experiences I had. And really it's Roger's fault for my sickness today because we went all over the place pulling cars like that, 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 and that, and that. Out of tree rows and off of farms and fields and doing everything we could to just save them from going to the crusher. And there's a lot of new stuff I got to get going. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a guy's high school car. Well, one of probably 40 during high school. Excuse me, Nova. Well, there she is, right next to the old wheelbarrow. I mean, she's in good shape overall. I mean, she took a little hail, nothing major. You can see how big these stones were. I think they were like softball size. I felt so bad for Roger. Pretty much destroyed a lot of metal out here. Oh, the keys are, keys are right where I left them. That's good. This thing ran really good. And the funny part is, I parked that because of a $46 clutch slave cylinder was shot. And it was just too much money. I just couldn't buy it. And I think it only has uh, 117,000 miles. Got the Iron Duke in it. So that was too bad, but I don't know. One of you guys wants that, hit me up. I'm sure I could give it to you. Wheel's good. These diamond T trucks are really fascinating. They're getting really scarce and hard to find. That came from Eastern South Dakota, I believe. And you could tell they're a diamond T because of the way that they are. Love these Buicks. That's great styling. Monte Carlo, of course you're 57. A lot of good metal on this car. I'm not sure where that one came from. Frame looks great. Really nice looking frame. Of course all of you know what that is. That's a dead giveaway. Another chubby. Oh, the old awning came down on her. I'll be dipped. Hope that didn't dent. Another 57 over there. Look at these Mercury Coupes. These fronts are just way ahead of their time. I like the style on these cars. Chrome is great. There's two of them here. They're both in really good shape. Look at this trunk line. Nice looking cars. They're both very solid builders. And I do know for a fact that whoever buys these, each one of them gets its own four-door parts car that goes with it. So that's a heck of a deal. It's 57. That's complete. She's got shine on it still. Dash is intact. Nice. Buick Super. And then the Omegas, which weren't as popular as the Novas, but I mean, if you look, I mean, they're basically identical cars. And I believe 
that's an SS. And the down part to that one is the old ladder bars right through the floor, if I remember right. It's been many, many years since we pulled that one out. Another Nova over here. She just needs quarters ready to go. I'd just drive it like this personally. Maybe throw a winder back in her. Look at that big back window cab. Love this truck. Oh boy, did we pull cars with this thing. It's actually 455 swapped. It's a C20, of course. It went down the road great. Hauled a lot of metal with that boy. I don't think I've seen this one before. Custom wheels on it. Looks to be in really good shape. I don't know. We might be in the no sale section, but Malls will walk through here anyway. Really nice El Camino. Ooh, look at the Riviera. Wow. Ceiling's low. Another Monte Carlo. Got a Blazer. Ford something or other. Got another Caddy. Tucked away. Another Suburban we pulled a lot of metal with. That's a diesel. Did a really good job. I know that's not for sale. Fun little truck. And we put this thing to use. I mean, we hauled a lot of material with it and three on the tree. Had a lot of fun with that one. That'll buff out. Good car overall. Nice rough. More Buicks. Chevy. Back in there. Wagon. That's really straight. Hmm. I might be interested in that. Actually. Here's a Cadillac. Nice. Another Mercury. Four door. So this is probably one of the well. Don't write her down, but that might be one of the parts cars to go with the two-door. There's just too much. Hmm. Ooh, Cheval Wagon, uh, 72, for those of you that don't know. Ah, they're both busted. 71s have the trim piece that come around here. The grills are slightly different, but they both have the single headlights. And of course, 70 has the dual headlight. Nice looking wagon. Look at the riffraff. Look at it. Oh, I didn't even. Okay, he's. He's now an advanced level. I uh, don't remember there being this many back here. But he's been busy. Some sweet old trucks. Or suburban. Addies. This is cool. I'm not even sure if that's for sale. Wow, that would be... Someone's got to call on this thing. See if that's for sale. Flatbed truck. There's another Chevy. Cool truck. Awesome. I think I'm walking on a Mercury here. Not quite sure. Another money. Another Buick. Four-door Nova. You don't see those a lot. Look at that. Wow, this thing is... Actually, I'm... that's an easy resto there. 
not be a quarter, but still. I'm not even sure where I'm at anymore. Let's go this way. Here's the trailer. So this trailer right here is responsible for pulling, I don't even know, a lot. The story goes that's actually a boat trailer that he modified into a car trailer. It pulls really nice. Another Monte Carlo. Ooh. Man. That could easily be my going to town car right there. Got a lot of oil filters in it. Now remember guys, if you buy cars here, there's a whole lot of parts that can go with. As an example, snip up this blazer. I know he's got a grill. Don't even worry about it. Look at this one. That is really good shape. So he does have parts, but they got to go with cars. He doesn't want to get into the just the part selling business. That one just needs a door. Not sure what we got going on there. Look at this. Caballero. Swap column. It's probably got something else under the hood, but I'm not going to take that off. This truck is uh, 1800. Look at these holidays. So here's another package deal. Darn near complete parts car. This one is supposed to run. And you get both of them for 2500. I mean, come on. Look at this thing. That's in really good shape. Visor. Twenty five hundred bucks. Get both. We used to drive that truck around a lot too. It looks like the old hail got her. That's too bad. It's a good little pickup. Love those big Buicks. Roger and I are both Buick fanatics. He's got a he's got a couple more than I do. But I can't remember the prices on these, but I remember them being real reasonable. Just about any model you can think of. Really straight 68. Close the bail. Another Chevy. See Tim. Lincoln. That's the James Dean body. They used the small body on the baby. Here's the inside of one of the shops. This is where a lot of the actual work takes place, but. Just wanted to show he's got a really nice sign and can collection. He's got tons of porcelain signs. I'm not even sure where he keeps them all. Got lots of neat memorabilia and such. Lots through here. Seems like yesterday hanging them trusses and putting them windows in. Look at this. All original paint except for I believe the fender and maybe the hood. Great shape. And surprise, another Buick. Scout! 
Look at the wagon. Uh, 57 GMC. Nice looking truck. Really straight. Looks like a West Coast. One of my all time favorite cars. 56 Buick. This here little feller is four door, but man, is it in good shape. The common issue with these 56s is you see the Speedos ramped up to about 25. They get stuck. There's just a big tube in there that's painted. And as you go faster, the tube rolls, and that gives you the the look and feel that it's something moving, but it's really not. It's kind of weird how it works. Look at this. And my favorite, 44 of course. Beautiful, beautiful paint, excellent interior. Chevy powered, 283. All black interior. And this is an older restoration, but it's held up very, very, very well. This guy's for sale. Really nice truck. Look at that seat. Look at it. Wish I had room. I would take this thing home in a heartbeat. Someday a guy's gonna snag him one of these lifts. Stop rolling around on my back. Go into the showroom here. Ah. 50 convertible. Got a 60 Corvette. Of course the Pontiac. These are so cool, they light up. Probably one of my favorite cars that he has. The 55, he's got paint coming for that. Chevelle, that's got a four speed in it. Really nice paint. The lighting in here is a little, a little dull for a feller's eyes, but you can see it in person. This is one of my all time favorite cars doing the maintenance on. This is lacquer paint from, I don't want to, I don't want to guess, but boy, it's, he's done it a long time ago and it looks really, really, really good. Very nice 50. I wasn't even a fan of these 50 Chevys until I ran into old Roger. Something about these quarter panels and the sail panel, kind of a coupe look, really sharp looking car. This Buick wagon. Really nice colors. Uh, garnet red. And then it's a beige. But really nice. Nice color combination. Sharp looking car. This 65 Riviera. Man, guy would like to have that in his garage. This color is, it fits it very, very, very well. Really good shape. Another Buick. Excellent condition. This Grand Prix is very low miles. Um, I'm guessing, uh, been so many years I want to say 70,000 somewhere around there not even might even be high but this is all factory that's right off the showroom floor there and this thing is like a time cap so look at that I think I got to drive that 2.5 times of course the cutlass Cut the Supreme. Another great example of factory preserved. I'm not even sure if I should be opening these. Sorry about that, Roger. And more parts and parts and parts and things and trinkets. 
And this is really cool, the steering wheel wall. All the way down. This is hard to find a flaw in this Corvette. And I know really well because I slept right there for about a week. And I'm telling you, I looked her over and she's good. Uh, if you're into signs, license plates, here, let me show you these plates. And this is probably just scratching the surface. But he's got year match pairs, state match pairs. These are all plates. Broken down by year. There's some special plates. All that. Going way back. And again, they're pairs. Some miscellaneous stuff. More plates there. So if you're looking for license plates, you're correct, stay correct. This is your guy. You better call him. He's probably got her. Look at the 50 Chevy convertible. This girl's ready for paint. Very cool. I'm not gonna mess with that, but I mean it's you'll have to take the guy's word for it, but she's you can run you can put a later well, you just put a laser down that. She's it's gonna be real nice. Well, I think that's pretty well gonna do her. I really wanted to sit down and talk with Roger, uh, but he's he's really busy, and uh, I don't want to mess things up with filming any further. So, just give him a call. I'll put the information here at the end of the video. I'll also put it in the description. Monday through Friday, eight to five. Uh, I would recommend calling ahead if you're looking for something specific. And I do ask, he's a very good friend, please be respectful of the property. You know, don't be jumping fences and snooping around. Just call him, he'll let you mosey on through here. So, and as always, thank you guys. Appreciate you watching. If you have any questions about any of the vehicles you saw today, uh, you can also ask me, I might be able to help you out there. And if you could hit the subscribe button, the notification button. Appreciate it, see you next time.